Hey guys, so I wanted to make just a quick little announcement before the demo. Okay, so it's been nine days, so it's almost been 10 days since I announced the winner of the Lush giveaway. And I have not heard back from the winner and I have tried to contact the winner. So that is good news for some of you guys because if I haven't heard back, I'm gonna go ahead and announce right here one more time for the winner to go ahead and contact me. And if they haven't contacted me within the time between I post this video and my next video, which is actually probably going to be tomorrow so you've got just pretty much to see this video and go ahead and contact me then I am going to go ahead and pull another winner um, from those entries um, so from here moving forward I'm going to go ahead and just give a five-day window for any giveaway um, winners to go ahead and claim their prize because I think if you watch my videos and you're not noticing or watching enough to notice that you've won <laughs> or to check back after you enter then um, yeah, I think it should definitely go to the next person. So that's why I say, obviously, if you're going to go ahead and enter a giveaway, you have to be subscribed anyway, but definitely you have to have your notifications on because you don't want to miss any kind of giveaway announcement. Um, and of course, I don't want you to miss any videos either. So I hope you enjoy this demo. It's a little bit of a mess at one point. I have a little bit of a meltdown and I hope you forgive that, but enjoy the demo. I think it's a cool one. Hey there guys, welcome back for another demo. Okay, so this one comes from actually several different bath bevy boxes. I've got two bath bombs and one bubble bar, and I think it's really cool that you can pull together out of several different boxes items that pair well together. But I'm going to go ahead and just describe them separately, but I wanted to go ahead and get a shot of them all together because I think they just look so pretty together. So let's go ahead and get started, and I will describe them one by one. All right guys, so the first one we're gonna do today is the Binge Worthy Bath Bomb, and this is from The Soothing Sloth, and I think that is just the most adorable name. Okay, so this one is scented in pomegranate, geranium, and amber. I don't really smell, I don't smell the pomegranate at all. Um, it doesn't smell florally. To me, it smells really powdery. It's got a nice, strong scent, but that might be the amber that I'm smelling. I'm not sure, but it doesn't smell florally to me at all um, or fruity. But I think that this is going to have a really nice color, and I think it's going to have a lot of shimmer. So let's go ahead and get it in see what it looks like. And I love the little chevron airbrushed on there. I think that's a really cute design. So this came out of the January box. Cool, that's a cool shot. Ooh, that's gonna float. Let's see. We'll watch it go though. It's a very, very vibrant purple. It's really pretty. They don't always have to float to be a great bath bomb. It's a plus, don't get me wrong, but they don't always have to. That one's putting on a pretty nice show. Picking up a little of the geranium now. Picking up a little, little of the floral. Okay, so here's a bird's eye view of the Binge Worthy Balm, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous, vibrant purple. It's really dark, and I think I saw some shimmer down there, so we're gonna go look a little bit closer in just a second. The only thing that I might be a tad concerned about is the purple around the edges. It doesn't look like it's gonna be a problem in the tub, but I didn't notice any poly 80 in the ingredients, which always concerns me a little bit. I'm just a big fan of poly 80 in a bath bomb, so um, I don't know, we'll, we'll see. If there's any issue um, with the tub afterwards, I suspect that it could be this bath bomb, but I don't think there will be. But let's go see the shimmer in this water. 
Okay, that's really, really pretty. Now if y'all can see the shimmer. Oh yeah, I think you can. It's really pretty. It's very royal purple. Okay, well let's um let's see, let me check. see that's what I'm talking about on the sides. But it looks like it's gonna be the kind that'll just kind of splash off. Okay, let's go ahead and get to our little donut. Okay, so this little guy is from Zen Bath Candies, and I don't think that I've had a bomb from them. I've wanted to try them for a little while, so I was excited when they popped up in my bath bevy box. But this one is scented in cranberry and apple, and I can definitely, definitely pick out the fresh, fresh um, tangy apple in there. So I like this scent, but let's go ahead and put him in. And in this purple water is gonna be really pretty, I think. Oh my goodness. And he looks like he's going to float. Super fizzy. It smells really good. It's very bright. And fruity. Oh, very cool. I'm glad I put those two together. I think they just look really pretty. One on top of the other one. I like these colors. And then the next one I've been excited about since I saw it on Instagram, and that was even before I knew it was going to be in the box, so I can't wait to do it. So let's go check out the bubble bar. All right, I hope you enjoyed the chop. I really enjoyed doing that. I thought it was really, really cool. Okay, so this is the Sweet Lips Bubble Bar and it's from Spun Gold Naturals. It's scented in Juicy Melon, Sweet Plum, and Fresh Florals. I don't really pick up the florals in this, which is okay with me, but I do think it smells a lot like melon and I guess I can pick up the plum maybe a little bit because it's maybe a little bit sweeter than just the straight up melon, but it smells really, really good and fruity. So let's go ahead and turn on the water and get started with this. Okay guys, um, just full disclosure, I am shaking still a little bit. My worst nightmare just happened. I just totally slipped and dropped my phone in the tub. Um, so I dropped, um, I dropped the bubble bar. Um, I fished my phone out, it seems to be okay. Thank, praise the good Lord for Otterbox. We'll see if it keeps working and this video is posted. Um, but might as well go ahead and try and take you with me to fish it out and I just feel terrible. But, oh my god, I'm surprised that hasn't happened to me before. I've got little pieces of it all over. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Oh my god, it's just... Oh, oh my god, I wanted to do this so bad. Okay, I'm not really sure what to do now. Oh my gosh! Okay, 
okay, okay, okay, okay. I'll still do it. I'll still do it. Okay. Oh my god, y'all. Y'all, sometimes stuff just happens. Okay, I'm just glad my phone's still working. We're going to salvage this demo. Okay, I'm going to keep trying to fish all the little pieces out from the bottom and just, I'm going to put my phone down. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm so sorry, but I swear I just had a heart attack. I just had a mini heart attack. Okay, let's do the bubble bar now. I'm sorry, he's starting to bubble because he's probably it's still a little bubble bar in the tub, but let's do this thing. We're not going to quit. Not going to quit. We're going to keep moving forward. <laughs> Oh my god. Keeping it real, guys. Keeping it real. The demo must go on. <laughs> Lots of bubbles. I think we could probably get two baths out of this, is what it's looking like to me. Of course, I used the whole thing, which is what I was going to say a minute ago, but I've kind of, um, kind of lost my train of thought here for a little bit. I don't want to um, run my water too much, too high, because I want to turn the jets on for you for at least a minute, but I think I might have to stop in just a second, even if we don't use the whole thing. All right, I think that's good for right now. <sighs> okay, I'm sorry guys. I'm still a little shaken up. My phone is just my life. I mean, I have everything on this thing. And I mean, I know most of you guys are the same, but I've had one phone problem before and it just about died. So, okay, so there's an insane amount of bubbles and I didn't use the whole thing. Um, on a positive side, I have obviously already reached my arms in a couple of times and the water was super, super soft. So I think you can attribute that to all three products at this point because they've all three uh, were in the water when I reached my arms and even before I did the bubble bar. So the water is extremely soft. It's really, really bright, pretty color and it's got a lot of shimmer and it smells really, really good in here. It's just, um, it's like there's a background of floral and, but mostly it's just a really bright and pretty scent. So, and I think I smell maybe like the apple and the melon the most. Okay guys, so I'm gonna just hop in the shower real quick and take this bath and calm down and relax a little bit and then I'll let you know how it was when I'm done. All right guys, so that's it for my bath bevy cocktail. And you can see that there were absolutely no problems as far as color down in the tub, so that's great. And there were a lot of bubbles, so you can tell that there's still some bubbles left in there too. As I suspected, this water was super, super soft, so that was almost the highlight for me, but I loved the dark purple water and there was a lot of shimmer in there too. I don't really notice any on my skin, but that's okay with me because considering my age, I don't necessarily need to go around looking like a twilight vampire, but it was really, really pretty water. I will have all of the links for all the companies listed down below and definitely go ahead and check out Bath Bevy, but they all get a thumbs up for me for this cocktail. So I will definitely have to go do another Bath Bevy cocktail very soon because I think maybe Samantha deserves a little bit of a redo after this one, but I appreciate you guys watching. Let me know what you thought down below. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.